us think about the biggest and meanest of the dinosaurs, we think about the Tyrannosaurus rex, or T-Rex for short. Its name even means Lizard King in Latin. But what if there were dinosaurs many millions of years ago that were even more terrifying? Join me as we look at the 10 dinosaurs that were just as lethal as the T-Rex. Number 10. Majungasaurus Chances are you haven't heard of the Majungasaurus, but that's about to change. Majungasauruses were short and stocky in build, and actually shared the T-Rex's most laughable attribute, the puny forearms. But, as with the T-Rex, that's no reason to underestimate this dinosaur. It's thought Majungasaurus made use of its short snout to bite onto prey and shake them until they died. Due to their strong, reinforced neck muscles, robust vertebrae, and interlocking ribs, it would have been able to bite and hold, meaning if one was able to latch onto any opponent, even a T-Rex, it could inflict potentially fatal damage. Whilst there's no evidence proving it ever faced off against a T-Rex, it seems clear that if given the chance, this dino would have been a fierce opponent. Number 9. Triceratops You might not have expected to find a type of herbivorous dinosaur in this list, but you'd be wrong. Both the Triceratops and the T-Rex lived during the Cretaceous period, and with a appetite of the size of the T-Rex, you can bet that these two dinosaurs crossed paths. But you shouldn't be so quick to dismiss the Triceratops as mere helpless prey. Triceratops adults grew in excess of 30 feet long and weighed around 6 to 12 tons, compared with 6 to 8 tons for an adult rex. In addition to being heavier, Triceratops boasted three deadly horns, which it could use to fight off predators. Its method of combat was to charge its attacker with these horns front and center. In a T Rex versus Triceratops standoff, all the Triceratops has to do is penetrate the T-Rex skin with one of its horns, and it would be game over. The wound would be fatal and leave the T-Rex severely injured, unable to hunt and bleed out. Number 8. Mapusaurus This was one of the giants of the Cretaceous period, with adults growing up to 40 feet in length and weighing in at around 3 tons. This dinosaur had an intimidating arsenal at its disposal when it came to hunting prey, including large, serrated teeth and powerful tail and legs. But what made it even more lethal for its victims was that it probably hunted in packs in order to bring down much larger prey, such as the 100-ton Argentinosaurus. With this in mind, Mapusaurus would have been a formidable foe for the T-Rex, had they lived in the same point in history, that is. For one thing, Mapusaurus had much longer and better developed forearms than the T-Rex, which could have proved useful in combat. But more important than this, Mapusaurus was considerably lighter and more agile than its competitor, which may well have given it the upper hand in avoiding the T-Rex's blows and landing some of its own. Number 7. Albertosaurus Whilst Albertosaurus might not be as well known as the T-Rex, it actually has many more surviving fossil specimens. An adult Albertosaurus could grow to around 30 feet and weighed about 2 tons, which essentially made it less than half the size of a T-Rex. However, don't let the stats fool you. Albertosaurus is known by paleontologists as one of the fiercest killing machines of the late Cretaceous era, with its speed and agility making up for what it lacks in sheer size. In fact, recent studies have shown that Albertosaurus was almost certainly a much faster runner than the T-Rex, and would have hunted down its prey in high-speed chases designed to isolate the victim from its herd. Comparing these two dinosaurs, T-Rex has the much larger skull, coming in at around 5 feet long. However, whilst Albertosaurus had a smaller skull, this made for a stronger and shorter muzzle which may have well provided this dinosaur with a much more powerful bite. Number 6. Allosaurus This was a carnivorous species of dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, as opposed to the Cretaceous period dominated by the T-Rex. Whilst Allosaurus and T-Rex were about the same height when fully grown, there was a weight difference in that Allosaurus only weighed around 2 tons. As with some of the previous entries in this list though, the lighter weight is arguably a positive attribute when it comes to speed and agility, in particular in hunting down prey. For another thing, the genus of Tyrannosaurs who lived during the Jurassic era would have been much smaller than their descendants, making them much easier targets for roaming Allosaurus. Evidence such as injuries found on fossil remains have also shown that Allosaurus was an active predator of larger animals than itself. One such example is a fossilized Stegosaurus neck bone with an Allosaurus-shaped bite mark out of it. Ooh, gross, right? So, while T-Rex was known to have sometimes scavenged for food from the carcasses of already expired creatures, 
Allosaurus had no qualms about bringing down larger, living prey. Indeed, a recent article by ThoughtCo argues that Allosaurus may have been the most fearsome meat-eating dinosaur of Mesozoic North America. Number 5. Carnotaurus The name Carnotaurus means meat-eating bull, and when you take a look at the artist's rendering of this dinosaur, it becomes pretty clear why it was so named. Alongside the two sharp horns protruding from its skull, Carnotaurus was equipped with long, powerful legs, which made it one of the fastest dinosaurs in its two-ton weight class. Analysis of its horns show that they would have been effective for combat, but because its skull was not built to withstand rapid heavy blows, it would probably have been used to give other dinosaurs slow, purposeful shoves, which would still have been enough to get into a serious tussle. If you've seen the movie Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, then you'll already have seen a T-Rex face off against a Carnotaurus. However, with the combined power of its horns and ability to charge at unusually high speeds, I suggest that the final outcome for a fight between these two dinosaurs is not totally cut and dry. Number 4. Giganotosaurus Both Giganotosaurus and T-Rex lived in the Cretaceous period but at totally different times, with the former preceding T-Rex by 30 million years. This is unfortunate, because a showdown between these two dinosaurs would have been truly epic in scale. When you think of huge, terrifying, carnivorous dinosaurs, Giganotosaurus certainly fits the bill. In fact, this dinosaur wins first place as the largest meat-eating dinosaur of Cretaceous South America. But let's take a look at the stats behind the title for a second. Giganotosauruses outweigh the T-Rex, with fully grown adults weighing around 10 tons. Despite this heavier weight though, Giganotosaurus was capable of running at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour compared to the T-Rex's rather paltry 10 miles per hour. There's also strong evidence that Giganotosaurus is hunted in packs, or at least groups of two to three adults, to hunt down giant Argentinosaurus as their ongoing food source. Either way, it seems clear that a Giganotosaurus would have been more than capable of giving a T-Rex a run for its money. Number 3. Carcharodontosaurus This dinosaur was named after the Great White Shark due to its terrifying array of teeth. They lived during the mid-Cretaceous period and could grow up to 30 feet long, with a weight of around 5 tons. As seen with the Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus also had powerful legs capable of running faster than the T-Rex at up to 20 miles per hour. Plus, with a jaw full of 6-inch long serrated teeth, it's easy to see why some paleontologists have called this beast Africa's answer to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. These teeth would have acted like switchblades, able to slice through flesh like a knife through butter capable of leaving gaping wounds which could eventually prove fatal to opponents. Perhaps it was fortunate for a T-Rex then that these two dinosaurs didn't cohabit Earth at the same time. Number 2. Seant Micarorum This type of carnivorous dinosaur lived in modern North America during the late Cretaceous period. Adults grew up to 40 feet and weighed around 7 tons. Seat was a colossal predator and came second only to the T-Rex itself in terms of size from fossils found in North America. This species of dinosaur was actually a member of the same family as the Carcharodontosaurus during a period of time when that dinosaur was the top predator of the age. Still, this dinosaur would have been a formidable opponent against the T-Rex of its era, since studies have shown that types of Tyrannosaurus that lived around this time would have been much smaller than we're used to seeing in pop culture, and they would have been kept in check by much larger predatory dinosaurs such as the sea ants. There exists fossil evidence from the Cedar Mountain Formation, which shows the huge size difference between the two, to the extent that Tyrannosaurs wouldn't have even tried to compete for the apex predator role. It was only the later generations of Tyrannosaurs who would have been more than a mere nuisance to the sea ants, and able to put up a fair fight. Before we get to number one on our list, here are a few special mentions. While not as giant in size, Oviraptors were certainly lethal to T-Rex, as they liked to chow down on Tyrannosaur eggs stolen from the nest. Other fearsome enemies were Dakota Raptors, which grew up to 18 feet long and were equipped with a sickle-like claw, which evidence has shown made them large enough to compete for food sources with, and even kill, juvenile T-Rex. Next up, Trudon, which were around 3 feet tall and probably had an omnivorous diet, but as this image shows, that didn't stop them from taking a bite out of larger predators such as the T-Rex if the opportunity arose. A gaping wound could be lethal for a large dinosaur, even if the agitator was more of a parasite than a genuine competitor. Number 1. Spinosaurus Let's get the facts on the table. Spinosaurus were the largest predatory dinosaur known to roam Earth. Move over, T-Rex. 
This terrifying specimen weighed around 10 tons and could grow up to 50 feet long, although other estimates have increased this length to 60 feet. With a 2 meter high spine on its back, they had a long neck, powerful jaws, and strong clawed forearms to fight with. It was also partially aquatic, meaning it had two arenas for hunting in, both in and out of the water. Whilst T. rex and Spinosaurus lived neither in the same time period or the same continent, there is one way to see what a battle between these two dinosaurs might have looked like. Take a note from Jurassic Park 3, which gave us a standoff between the Spinosaurus and T. rex, which ends in favor of the larger opponent. It makes sense. Not only was the Spinosaurus a larger beast, it had more powerful forearms which were built for slashing prey apart and grabbing them, unlike the famously puny arms of the T. rex. What's more, real-life paleontologist Paul Sorino, who has seen this movie, agrees that Spinosaurus would have been the victor, categorically so had the fight been in water. Sounds pretty conclusive, but it would always be good to see an on-screen rematch, right? Please, scientists, get back to engineering these beasts back to life just so we can find out. Even so, do you think any of the other dinosaurs would conclusively win against a T-Rex, or do you disagree with what I've said? Let me know in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.